The newspapers are striking here in Pittsburgh. They haven't had either paper for a couple of weeks now, and it's a good thing because neither Mary or nor I can figure out the spelling, but I guess it's a play on Lemieux, the best of the Penguins tonight, more the Mario. Three to one, the final score. Here is the uh, Pittsburgh captain. Congratulations, Mario. That was, uh, well, both games really a great show for you personally and for the team. How did you see the game tonight? Well, uh, we felt a lot better tonight. Uh, we wanted to uh, uh, jump on them in the first period, um, uh, play pretty well for, for the most part of the game, and uh, we just wanted to come in here tonight, play a solid 60 minutes, and uh, try to take the lead in the third and, and uh, try to preserve it. When you go back to the first round against Washington, you had the big game, that your first victory, six points, but you look to be in a lot of trouble. What turned it around for the club? Well, I think we, we, from that point on, I think we played a lot better defensively. Uh, we changed our forechecking a little bit. We went to uh, a 1-4 delay, which uh, uh, against Washington, especially with their defensemen, uh, uh, Atcher and Ayafredi and all these guys uh, bringing the puck up. So uh, we wanted to play uh, a lot better defensively, and uh, we just uh, uh, sat back with four guys at our blue line, waited for our chances, and uh, we won three straight. And from that point on. It's silly to suggest you'd ever want to be behind in a game or a series, but uh, you'd gone six straight series being behind, uh, and then you uh, go into the Boston series. You're in trouble in that game, but pull out a victory. You struggle in game one against the Hawks, so it seems to be the nature of this club. It needs uh, something to get it going. Yeah, that's the way we played last year. You know, we lost uh, every first game in each series, and uh, we're able to come back and, and win some big games on the road. And, um, you know, we've done it again this year, and uh, that's, that's what we're going to have to do again uh, against Chicago. Uh, they're they're playing very well in their, their building, and uh, it's going to be very loud in there, so we'll, we'll have to be ready for that. Yeah, that's a good point. Let's look at the two goals you scored this evening, 14 and 15 in the playoffs for you. Tell me about them. Well, uh, if I can see the first one, Rick Tockett just gave me the puck in, in the slot and got good wood on it uh, on the far post. I forget who hit uh, the man Smith in the corner, but that's what forced that was, it loose. That was Kevin Stevens, I think. That uh, Then the second one, great play by Rick again. I just, just went in. <laughs> you, uh, you had a great chance uh, also, and there's, Harry Neal made the point upstairs, you're setting coaching back 100 years because you had the injury, you haven't been practicing on the off days, obviously to look after all this, uh, how do you feel? Uh, I feel pretty good, uh, you know, I've been doing that for uh, a couple years now, especially with my back, I don't practice much, uh, uh, morning skate, uh, I rarely uh, get on the ice, so I just try to play the games, play, uh, you know, 25, 30 minutes a game, that's how I stay in shape. My thanks to Mario Lemieux, the number one star tonight on Hockey Night in Canada.